got a, a pink one with a flower, but he's pretty cool. This one is from 2005. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you enjoy shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll really love it. I wanted to show you guys today my hair bag and I guess a few features about it that I didn't previously kind of go into detail about, such as the strap and how to remove it. Because I found that for me, I really enjoy it without the strap. I wanted to show you guys how if you want to remove the strap, also I guess how to and also I'm going to show you guys how I attach the strap. Guys, I bought this hair bag pre-loved from Luke's It Forward, but I did notice recently that um, I am seeing a lot more hair bags on the Hermes website, uh, particularly in the uh, return style, so the reverse style. I think mine is in the Cellier style, but I'm not exactly sure. It's kind of like, doesn't look like it's been kind of turned inside out. It looks like they've stitched it from the outside. So there's two versions of the hair bag you can currently get. And mine is from 2017. So I'm not sure if you can still get this color. I'm still learning about Hermes guys, but this particular color is in cactus. And it has this kind of I would almost compare it to Louis Vuitton Vachetta leather. It's like a raw cowhide leather. And the top, I've just put a twilly on it. But it does come with a longer shoulder strap as well. And to open this bag, you just do that and push this bit in. And the longer shoulder strap is in here, which I have removed. So guys, how did I remove it? Wow, there is actually... <laughs> You may have already seen a few videos on this guys but if you haven't you can actually construct the top of this bag so i wanted to show you guys how you do that there is a rod in the top of the bag so you can see here there is a rod and you just have to hold like one side so i'm just holding this taut and i'm just unscrewing actually guys <laughs> I'm going to hold this side and unscrew this side. So you can see this bit has unscrewed and there is a little bit of a kind of an attachment here that lets it, I guess, not get lost. Um, if you're walking, that might unscrew and you might see that completely fall off. And I guess that's what that's for. I'm going to just unhook that there so we can take the rod out. And when you're disassembling it, guys, just make sure you keep that safe because you've got to keep it basically um so i'm just going to keep that up there for now and then um you just have to simply pull the whole rod out guys and as you saw the top handle completely fell off and there's holes here guys to put it back through if you look on the inside there is some sections here where you can kind of fit the strap and guys, I've actually seen people thread through this section chain and other straps as well. So you could get creative, I guess, and try di at attaching different chains and that sort of thing. Um, I even have a, for example, a furless shoulder strap, which I have tried to thread through and it did work. I didn't love the look of it, but you could definitely get creative with like funky chains and that sort of thing. Reattach the strap, guys. Um, you just have to simply, like, I guess, align it again. So we have, you know, the top bits we put back through here. And then I just wedge this top section of the strap through here. And it, you know, it takes a little bit of practice to do, but you just have to kind of thread it back through. I had to like sit down and align it up, but okay. So I thread the rod through to the other side and now I've got this little dangly bit and I just have to click it back on this little thing, drop it through and just screw it back on. Oh guys, that was a headache. I wouldn't recommend doing that all the time. It's not the easiest thing to do but it's possible guys so 
Just make sure that's all in. And now I've reattached the strap so it's back on there. And you can definitely just leave it there. I mean, I might just leave it there now because that took me 10 years. But yeah, you can play around with it. You know, maybe you want to add a chain to it, thread it through. As when opening and closing it, I find it's easier to close when you have it kind of sitting down. And all you have to do is pull kind of this bit through first. And then you have to pull these bits and then push that through like that and simply slide it through like this. So yeah, like that. And of course, guys, if you need something to access easily, I'd recommend putting it in here. So something like your phone, your keys, I don't know, your, yeah, maybe your credit card or something I don't know something that you just need your train pass you know I'd recommend putting it in this part because this part is honestly not the easiest to access but it just takes a bit of getting used to I guess so guys let's open this baby back up and see how many ponies I can fit inside now at the moment guys I've just got the dust bag in there and my Samorga organizer thing I recently got. So it looks like that. And you can see the hair bag has a pouch as well. I have a whole bag of My Little Ponies here. And I just wanted to see like how many I could fit inside this hair bag. So my first My Little Pony is this little white one with pink hair. The story is guys that I found a whole lot of My Little Ponies at the thrift store one day. A whole tub for five dollars and i bought it guys so now i have so many my little ponies i even have some i have a few from my childhood as well and i stole some from my sister but um yeah these ones are all the ones i found at the thrift store so so far we have three in there well this one is crazy guys look at this pastel hair pony isn't she crazy? So frizzy. She definitely needs a little bit of a comb. Isn't she cute? So we've got one, two, three, four. Who's this girl? Wow. This one has like rainbow hair with tinsel. And she has a little horn. So she's more like a unicorn, guys. Look at that. Five. We've got this baby. I know guys, all my My Little Ponies are a bit worse for wear, but I honestly found them, so yeah. Wow, look at this purple baby, Lavender. I love how they all have a special little kind of marking here as well. And it says on their foot what year they came from. So this, this one came from 2002. It's almost vintage, guys. <laughs> Um, I have another purple, she's like a pegasus, she has little wings and she has some iridescent hair. Guys, I kind of lost count of how many ponies I put in here. Let me know if you remember because I forgot. This one is like a really mini one, maybe we won't put her in there. I'm gonna go for the standard size. Well, this one is super rainbow, she's blue with rainbows. Ooh. I've got a, a pink one with a flower butt. She's pretty cool. This one is from 2005. So whoever donated all these ponies was obviously a bit of a collector. Oh, another pink one. She has a little present on her butt. This one is from 2002. Maybe you guys I should have told you the dates of all of them because that would have been interesting. But anyway, they're all early 2000s. This one is an artist. She has a little diamante with a paint thing on her butt. And she is from... Ooh. 2003. Look at her. I think we can fit one more. Oh my god. A troll, guys? 
get that troll out of here. <laughs> oh, wow. This one, it looks like a forest one. Yeah, she's a beautiful colour. And look at her butt. Wow. And she has a little coat hanger on her foot. He's from 2007. So, guys, let's just shuffle around the ponies in there and see if they all fit. I feel like it could be a little bit of a squeeze, guys. We're going to have to delete some, so goodbye. And, guys, I have way more ponies to come, so let me know if you want me to share my My Little Pony collection because there is way too many. Okay, so I had to delete three. So if you guys were counting, let me know how many is in the bag. So now we've got the ponies in there and we're just going to close it back up. Like that. Oh, and the pouch is still out, so that's not really accurate. But you can see it's a pretty, you know, carefree bag. I feel like this green may fade over time with the light and everything. I mean, I have seen some her bags discolor over time, but... You know, it, I paid $2,000 pretty much for this. It, it was $1,995, so yeah, that's, that's not bad, guys. I think it's a pretty good bag if you get it pre-loved, or even the retail price is pretty reasonable. So yeah, guys, I think it, and if you want to kind of, you know, dip your toe into Hermes, I think it's a good one to go for. I know Claire Chanel recently got the Pegasus one, which is honestly the gold of her bags. I think that's the prettiest one. It's also one of the more expensive ones you can get, but um, you can definitely go for a neutral color, a pop color, like green or pink or yellow. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a really interesting bag that fits quite a lot, especially if you carry a lot of My Little Ponies. So guys, hope you enjoyed that video. It was kind of random, but yeah, anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye.